I first heard about family group decision making probably about after the third time I had been referred to Children's Services. Um, I first heard about family group decision making because my nephew got involved in the criminal juvenile justice system here in Bucks County. My probationary officer brought it up when we were discussing that would be a good idea because I wasn't really getting along with my, my mom too well. For me it was a new program and uh, the persons tell me, tell me only that it can be good for my family because it was uh, um, family decisions. He brought uh, family group decision making to our attention after we had several problems with the placement of my grandchildren. She asked me if all my family can go and I said yes. She called me and asked if I wanted to come to a group family meeting to help her for when she reads 18, how to basically get her life back and be in control of her life. We had a social worker who thought that that would probably be the best I don't want to say remedy, but help for our family in the situation that we were in. They said that it, it really couldn't hurt to go through the process. They said, hey, look, we have this program, uh, family group, group family decision makings, and this is how this works. I didn't have any idea of what family group decision making was. I had never heard of it before. But since I had tried everything else, I said, why not try this too? When I was first told about going to a conference, I felt apprehensive because I, the point that our family was at, it seemed uh, that something like that really wouldn't make very much of a difference. I had never heard of anything like a family conference. It was either a social worker or me or a judge. The other family members were never involved. Everybody was a little bit scary because we didn't know. The first time it was confused for me because I, I was not sure what, what the programs um, it will be good for my family. I felt shy. Well, actually, I felt afraid, scared, because I thought that they were going to take Maida away and break up our family circle. I didn't want to come. It's my little sister. I have to come to help her out. I pictured this as a group of people putting me in the corner, you know, telling me all the bads I did. Um, who's going to take my kids and, and whatnot. Basically because of my past experiences with the Department of Children and Family Services and the way that they operate in our community, they're not really very much well liked, you know, social workers and the whole bit. And when it was then explained to me after, of course, I was calmed down, I was like, oh, well, that seems neat. You mean you actually want to help me? And so I felt that this was a very interesting uh, aspect, a process that would allow the family to make decisions for themselves. And it was sort of like it was outside of the box. Well, some of my questions about it was uh, basically how the meeting would be conducted. How was this going to benefit my family? Will this actually work? Uh, what was the dynamics who were involved? Uh, how long would it take, um, you know, what was the process? What would be the limits of what could be discussed during this process? Was it just a way for Department of Children's Services to be nosy into my home or I was also afraid, was I opening up the door to maybe getting my kids removed from the home? And also, uh, who died? in the Department of Children and Family Services and let them do something, you know, so terrific. <laughs> I was hoping that the conference would give us the ability to stop a family in crisis from getting worse. I was hoping to find some other dynamics to, to bring us back into 
some sort of a family unit where I could function better without causing so much conflict. My hopes were high that something new, this was something new that we hadn't heard about. Basically, my hopes were for my grandchildren, you know, to have a wonderful and loving home. I was hoping that with everybody understanding exactly what was happening, we could all be supportive of not only me and my decisions, but of Kevin and what he's going through too. And I was just hoping that things would get better between us just a little bit. Now, if the meeting helped just the tiniest bit, it'd be worth it. I would describe what family group decision making is as actually just what the name says. It is family group decision making. There's brothers and sisters involved, aunts and uncles, grandparents. It was bringing the whole, whole group in. You get to talk about how you actually feel and what you can do to help each other, what can you do just to be there for each other and try to just understand one another. During the family conference, the facilitator he facilitates and once he's through, he leaves the room and allows the family to derive to their own decisions. You're drawing on the resources and the experiences of other members of your family and because they are members of your family, you've been exposed to them your whole life. It opens up new doors and ways on how to bring structure into your home. Like a puzzle, you know, you take it out of the box, you dump it on the ground, and you're going to put it back together again. And that's how I see it. It's fun. You go and it's something nice that the whole family can do together. We also talked about how we can get, like, we stay in contact with her caseworker and her counselor. Like, we build a relationship with them, so they call us and let us know how she's doing. So it's just like one big relationship that's formed. It gave us a plan that we could follow. Well, what the family plan is, is about is that it involves all the members of the family to participate in some sort of activity that's going to keep the entire family informed of what's going on with, as, regarding to the child's placement. We came together, we set up a plan in which we shared responsibility to help to get through these hard times. It felt really good to see all the members of my family and my friends all show up for me. It shows that even though we've all moved in different directions in our lives, we all still have that bond that can bring us together as a family. I feel good because I, I, I saw that um, a pesar de todo, we, we was together, we was mm, unidos. Oh, it felt wonderful. We, we are a family that does that anyway. Um, sometimes it doesn't always go about in a healthy way, but that's what I liked about this. It was a controlled environment and I felt that it was more healthy than the way we normally do it as a family. <laughs> it felt good. It felt good because normally the only time the family is together, like it was when we were there for Jada, it's a funeral, a picnic. Otherwise, the young people they're doing their own thing. My little boy, he could get to meet everybody in his family. And it, some of the members in his family, I didn't know, you know. And so you know he wouldn't know them, but you know, he was treated like, well, I'm one of the, you know, this is my cousin, and this is my uncle, and this is my aunt. And you know, he got a chance to identify with people that was his own people, you know, they, he had something to belong to. There were grandparents, there were aunts and uncles, um, friends. Uh, my pastor was willing to take time out from his job. Uh, our family members were willing to take time out from their busy schedules. Friends were willing to help us and to see us as a family. And I think it made the kids realize how much everyone cared. Made me feel really good, made me feel special. Like I'm loved. <laughs> the conference helped the family because it opened discussions even after the meeting. I think that they probably helped everyone in 
our family. It's very helpful. And you know what I'm saying? It makes you realize a lot of things. It makes you like see how your family really feels about you. It seems like she has nowhere to go. So she made it known that she needed family involved in her in her life while she was in here. I never really knew that. Well, it helped me not get taken away from my mom. What helped me the most is having all my, not all, but my aunts and uncles and my mom and my grandfather there who they didn't take sides, but they got to hear my side of the story. Kevin saw that there was a lot of people who loved him. The best thing about the family decision-making process for me was that I saw that I had a bigger support system than I thought. It impacted my life by keeping my family together. In about two months, he was out of foster care with a family member. And here's a judge that said he would never come back to me and his mother again. In six months, he was back home with us, you know. And so it was really the family's decision to put him back where he needed to be. I have a small daughter that's the same age as my granddaughter. And I mean, they've been spending time since we decided to work together as a team to, um, to help the kids. They've been spending a lot of time with me and my family. And so it's brought them close together. They're growing up almost like sisters. And now that this group decision making has come about, I'd be willing to bet I don't really know for sure but I bet a whole lot of children are out of foster care now. Tons of them. I was in foster homes that were very abusive. And so I didn't like social workers too much. So to me, it was like they didn't care. And so when I realized I'm in a room with all these different kinds of, you know, social workers and, and counselors and stuff, and, and they were really open and caring, it really changed me, did something to me, it helped me open up. I got to share some things with my cousin that. I probably never would have, and it's emotional. <laughs> um, knowing that I could share some things with her that I went through, and hopefully that she would actually listen and it would help her, that was the best. That that was the best part. Cause I'm big cousin, and I've always been around them, but they always saw the joking Cammy and the playing Cammy. They didn't know the Cammy that went through some of the things that I've gone through. So to be able to share that with her and have her see, okay, Cousin Kimmy isn't perfect. That, that was good. That was real good. Um, if I were to meet a family that was about to go on a family group decision-making conference, um, my advice to them would be go for it. Go in open-minded. Bring lots of tissues. Um, I would give that advice because it is an emotional outpouring. Go with it full strength, give it all you can, totally be real. I don't know, like basically it might be a long process, but you know what I'm saying, don't give up because in the long run it's gonna help you. To go, because it's very helpful. Don't be self-conscious, don't be nervous. It's with your family. They've probably seen you in your diapers. You're not alone, ask, don't be afraid. If you don't ask, you never learn. And spread the joy. <laughs> yeah. Well, my own point of view is that the family conference is about the best thing that anybody involved with children's services could ever get introduced to. Because definitely family group decision making is something that I'll never forget. It'll always be with me. It'll always be something that I'll cherish. For the young people, it can help give them a future. Family group decision making is a wonderful program that allows families to make decisions for themselves. And in that, it empowers the families. It gives them hope. And it lets them know that who they really are. They are a powerful entity. Too bad you didn't have it when we were young, you know? It made me believe in the system again. <laughs> um, I know that 
I didn't know there's people that really care. And there's sometimes when you try so hard and there's nothing you could do, you like, feel like you're drowning. And it feels good to know that people really do care and really do help you make a difference in my life. Made me a believer. <laughs>